Hi there, it's Jeff. Have you ever had to put in threaded inserts in some of your projects or jigs and you struggle doing it by battery drill? I know I have in the past and you're guessing whether you're going to go in square or not. And when you put your bolts in there, you want them nice and square to your material. So I've made a quick simple jig to help with that, so to ensure that those threaded inserts go in nice and square. Just made out of a few scraps laying around in the workshop. So follow me in this uh, video and I'll show you how quick and easy this is to make. Okay, to start off with, I'm just going to run through just some of the material that you can use for this and what, what you're going to need to make this quick and easy simple jig. Um, I'm just using some offcuts of uh, some American oak that I just happen to have in my workshop, um, but you can use whatever timber you want. Preferably a hardwood is better, especially when you're going to drill through this, because the drilling, the hole that you're going to drill through this for your bolt is actually like a guide and you just want that um, as hard as possible. So I've just got some um, American oak, it's dressed all round and the height of this stock, um, I've just kept it small, but the height of this stock is going to uh, depend on what size screw in inserts that you use. For me, um, probably the biggest I'm gonna use is around about 20 millimeters or just a little bit over three quarters of an inch. And you're gonna need a, a bolt uh, of the same thread that you, you're inserting. So these ones that I happen here, uh, examples are uh, six mil, six mil inserts. And so I've got a long enough bolt with a nut and you've got to imagine that that's gonna go through this timber, it's gonna face that way. And it's gotta allow, you gotta allow this to go inside there. So that little bit of stock there has to stay. I'm gonna notch out the bottom of this on the table saw, which I'll show you later and you just want to make sure that your stock the higher this is and and the the longer that hole that you're drilling is because that's a guide remember for this bolt to go in square the longer the stock is probably a little bit uh, better this is going to work so uh, just a bolt long enough to go through with a nut so you can lock the inserts on when you are inserting these into your board or timber drill bit to suit the bolt, square, couple of measuring tools, and that's about it. So let's get onto the next process of marking this out and then machining, and I'll show you how easy it is to use this jig.
Okay, once you've finished machining your piece of timber and you've got your bolt, I'll show you it's very easy to put together. That will go in there. You'll need two nuts so they can lock onto each other, onto the threaded insert. Two, grab one of these and just tighten that there. And just use a couple of spanners. that up and then we're going to drill a hole into our material and I'll show you how this works. My pro tip here is if you can countersink the hole after you've drilled it as well so when you've got the threaded insert it'll fit, fit nice and flush because that's that uh, square edge on the top. Now it's just a matter of getting your jig, lining it up there. You can clamp it down if you wanted to. Well there you go, really quick, simple and easy little jig to make for putting in your threaded inserts. This will help you ensure that those threaded inserts go in nice and square into your material instead of having to guess with a battery drill whether you're going in square or not. And then once you screw in your bolts, you really will notice if they are out of square or not. And sometimes those situations are critical, you want them nice and square. Well, that just about wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press like, share, and subscribe so you can keep up to date with our latest videos. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.